What's up, YouTube? We, uh, we're we going to test the uh, KSD-01F thermal switch again. Just a quick little rundown of the setup. I've got a hodgepodge of wires here on top of tools. But anyway, there is the, uh, the thermal chip itself, the KSD-01F. And I just soldered a couple leads onto it just to make it a little bit easier. I've got the, uh, essentially I've got the power coming from this little 10 amp power supply. And I've got one leg of it just going um, to the switch itself and then up to the, the load over here. And then the other leg, um, it's just going through the, uh, the fluke up here just so we can keep an eye on the amperage. But with that being said, <clears throat> we're gonna test it out. Like I said, I just soldered those those leads on there just to make uh, hooking up to the switch a little bit easier. And I've got the, uh, the uh, thermometer over here. I've got it set up basically using the metallic alligator clip to clip the other uh, test probe, whatever you want to call those things, so, to basically just to clip it onto the back of the switch, uh, so we keep an eye on the uh, the temperature of the switch itself, so power supply is already on, and I've got the, uh, the load set up, this switch is rated for I believe 24 volts at 5 amps, so we're just going to start it off with uh, 2 amps, at, uh, as you see, it's on 13 volt, and we're gonna go ahead and kick the load on. But as you see, even with the load on, we're not showing any current. And the uh, flute confirms no current. <coughs> Excuse me. That's because it's a thermal switch. And it has to, uh, it has to heat up before it'll open up. So my uh, soldering iron here that I just used to solder those leads, it's still pretty hot, I think. I want to see if I can't hold that on there without messing something up. See if I can't maybe get it. Heat it up a little bit without jacking something up here. I don't know how hot this soldering iron actually is, but surely it's still hotter than 45 degrees Celsius. Maybe it ain't. It's actually pretty cool. Okay. Let's turn the soldering iron on. Kind of cheat a little bit. See my solder iron there, it's not even reading yet. Or it, it's reading 240, but there we go, now it's reading. So it should open the switch up. There we go. So now the, uh, the switch is open. Reading 1.9 amps there, 1.9 amps there. I'm gonna turn it up to, uh, let's go on up. Let's rate it for five amps, so let's do two, and let's do half of it anyway. There's two and a half amps. Yeah, see our temperature over here. Looks like the temperature's actually falling. So, let's go ahead and crack her up to 5 amps. Whoa. Let's 
bumped up right around five, uh, four and a half for a second. Just see what the temperature does, if anything. It's quite a bit of amperage for a, a little bitty switch that's not mounted to anything to dissipate any of the heat. See my thermal switch on the heat sink kicked on. Turn the fan on. The power supply. But it looks like it's consistently dropping. I'm going to ease up to 4.9. That is just about its rating. Looks like we're still falling. Yeah. I'm actually quite impressed. I figured that, uh, At a trade at capacity, I mean, I figured drawing four amps, five amps like that, that little sucker would heat up, but seems like it's holding its own. Matter of fact, it's probably getting close to cutting out again. In my other video, I tested the uh, actual temperature when it engaged. It's uh, rated for 45 degrees Celsius, and I believe it kicked in right at like 44 and a half. It's, it's definitely hanging out. It's not dropping down to that other one see that that one above it is the uh, the temperature at the tip of that where that wire goes into that alligator clamp so the switch itself apparently does have a small amount of heat from the current going through it but it's really not much You can see uh, more or less the ambient air next to it, 76 degrees, and the switch is only 84, might as well say 85 degrees. between it being bang on with the uh, temperature rating and now the fact that it's uh, it's seeming to hold more or less its rate at current no issues for as cheap as them little buggers are I'd say it's a, I mean, you can't really ask for more than that, can you? I'm happy with it. So it's, it's apparently it's holding just enough heat at full current where it doesn't want to disengage. 
So that is something to uh, take into consideration. You know, if you were going to run anything over, I'd say, you know, anything more than, if you're going to run anything more than, say, two amps through it, you're either going to need to uh, ensure that this is mounted to something, to, like a heat sink or even, you know, just something metal to where the heat can escape it a little easier, or just use it to control a relay and run your current through your relay so your switch can cool off enough to disengage if that's a factor for whatever project you're working on. But I primarily got these switches and use them for, uh, well, power supply and, and uh, ham radios to uh, automate the fan so you don't have to hear the fans running constantly. Um, but if, again, if you was going to run full current through it like that, and it never did shut off because the current itself keeps it just barely too warm to kick back out, that wouldn't be any good either, so. Put it on, uh, on a relay and Bob's your uncle. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut that. We've been going for uh, 12 minutes now and seems like it's holding pretty solid right at 29.4 celsius might even be gaining just uh, slightly no pretty consistent so just another video on the uh, ksd-01f thermal switch i say they're pretty good pretty good value for the money Alright, catch you guys later. Peace.